there's a better way to string together text in After Effects. When creating sports graphics, we often have multiple layers of text that we need to update. And it's much easier to update in one fell swoop than trying to go in and double click on each layer, change the text to make the update. I'm gonna show you two different ways that I've tackled this. And the main difference is the hero text that I'm using and where it's placed within the comp. So let's get started so you can streamline your workflow and simplify your code. I have one set of text here, men's soccer. And I want to append that to the top here after Notre Dame, I wanna add men's soccer. And I wanna put it here in between Notre Dame and highlights. And I want it to update every time I update this one text. I don't wanna to have to repeat and retype or throw three different text files into my essential graphics panel if that's the route I'm going. So if I double click on my name here, and let's just change this to women's soccer. You can see that it now says women's soccer up top and it says women's soccer down low. So what I'm doing is tying this section of this text to the name. So that's probably not new, but the way that I'm writing it is a little different. So let's go here to the highlight text bottom. If I hit EE -E to pull up my source text here, this is a template literal way of writing with the backtick. And the backtick can be found right under the escape key up on the upper left side of the keyboard. And it acts like a single quote or double quote. So a lot of times when you write this out, if I were to write this out without this way, I would write double quotes for my string, Notre Dame, and then I'd go plus, and then put a space here, and then I do a plus, and keep typing this out and going that way. So you can see that this is already more simplified than having to write all this out back to back to back. So let's look at this real quick. I defined a variable of text one, which I then tied to my name one layer, and I'm looking at the source text of that layer. So when I was writing this out, this needed to say Notre Dame, whatever sport it was, and the highlights. So I wrote that out outside of this. And then the syntax here to add in this text one is dollar sign curly brackets on both ends here. And then I type text one dot two lowercase. Since the text up here is all caps, I wanted to ensure that this text down here would always be lowercase because that was the style we were going with. So I was able to add that to lowercase with my text one. So I'm pulling the source text of women's soccer and I'm making sure it's all lowercase and I'm inserting that between Notre Dame and highlights with the back ticks on either side. And that's what allows me to change this out. So anytime I change my name here, so watch down here, it says football, what about women's basketball? There we go, so that updates there and it updates up top. If I hit EE to go into here, you're gonna see the exact same thing up top. This is in all caps, so I didn't have to worry about the two lowercase and it's added in there. So I have Notre Dame with my back, inside my back ticks, I have Notre Dame, dollar sign, double curly brackets on either side of text one, which text one is, assigned to the source text of name one, which is this layer I'm choosing. And the beauty of doing this is that if I go up into my essential graphics panel, highlight intro. So I took the source text here and I drag it up into my essential graphics panel. So 
I am able to update this and export this as a Mogurt, and it's going to work the exact same way. Let's see. And adjust, and I obviously have uh, max width on here as well. So if something gets extra long, it's going to shrink down. Same with, same that you saw with women's basketball. It's going to shrink down a little bit because we've hit our maximum. And the other thing I'd like to say here too is that this doesn't limit your abilities to animate your text either. So you can see how it comes on. I'm looking at the bottom here. I still have this animating on on the bottom of the screen. If I hit EE, you can see I have a range selector here. I should just twirl this open, text, animator. So my animator on position, I have it set to 90, so it's gonna start below and go up 90 pixels. And I have a linear expression on here, but it's all based on split text. So what I did, is I created a new variable called text1 and I tied it to the source text here of this layer and I used the split command with a space. So when you lay it out like this, it's saying split at every space. So at every space, between every space, it's split and within my advanced here I have this set to index and words so my split is also separating this into words here so that when i go from 0 to 100 in my animator it's going to go from 0 to the five words that i have on here all right so that's one way of doing it is just tying it to a text layer that you already have, and then surfacing this text layer, source text, up into your essential graphics panel, or using this as your text for templator if you go that route. Let me show you one other way. So what I've started to do a lot more is add my primary text up top, and then I right click and make it a guide layer. And that just means that it won't render. So. This allows me to quickly know where all of my files are that I want to update and change. So I have everything laid out very similarly, but as you can see, I have a lot of different cuts for my main text. But these are all tied, pick whipped up to the source text of the appropriate master here. So that makes things easier to follow. And there, my bottom text here, highlight text bottom, is built out the same way. So I have my text one, which is linked to my prompt text master all the way at the top here. Prompt text master. So if I change this to say block B L O O C K, it'll shrink down. If I change this to say Irish win, it's all going to update. And I also have scaled width on these as well, or on this primary text. And it just adds it down here in line because my prompt text master is driving everything after Notre Dame. I'm sure there's many more uses that you can come up with, whether you're using this across boards, if you're in game entertainment, if you're on social media, and you wanna link everything back to a master comp or something like that.